What's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> and today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a two-pack of these Squishmallow cards. <laughs> I just found out about these, you guys. I may start collecting these, or I may not, but... <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how you're supposed to open these. Uh, there we go. This is series one, and it goes up to eight cards in one pack, I think. But oh, look, guys! On the back, it says like I think there are like some special cards you can get or something. But let's get started. Alrighty, let's keep on going. There we go, and I got it open. All right, so I have the packet where the cards go. Let's open it. Why well, can't? Okay. There we go. I got it, you guys. So I think I have about a few cards in here. Let me just count them. So this is just like one of the little like puzzles that you can do. You can find all 60 in here, I think. But I don't think. So we have one card. We have two cards. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. Super close to eight. So let's start from. I want to do this mythical dragon. And it's like, it says on the back what it's about. And it's the 31, I think. There's even like a burrito. <laughs> There's a burrito. It even. So I think on the back it tells you about the Squishmallow's history. I'm going to read Tai Tata. I think it's Taita. Loves dancing, baking, and exploring with her friends. She wants to save the world one day at a time. Catch her with her friends out in the wild or in the library reading on her, reading up on her bit on her next big adventure. Hmm. So it's a nice one. <laughs> Let's read the burrito. Are you ready for a spicy surprise? Be sure to catch Bernardo on the baby grand every day, every Friday night. He sings and plays the piano, but with a little twist. He only sings in Spanish, and by the time you leave, you might sing it. You might sing in Spanish too. <laughs> so those are two very interesting cards here. <laughs> two very interesting cards. <laughs> But we have five more to go. I'm going to pick this kind of little fairy and this little llama. So Fiona lives in, a, in an ice castle in the North Pole near her winter squad friends. She has an ice cream shop and can make any flavor you win. Don't forget to ask her for, for her famous icicle sprinkles. So, Fiona sounds like my kind of Squishmallow, <laughs> you guys. Now it's time for the llama. Yoli is the sweetest yeti around. This gal loves going to the cabin with her best friends, Raya and Gabby. She loves snow cones and making snow mellows in the winter. Join Yoli on her next trip to the cabin. Hmm. Okay, you guys. Interesting Squishmallow. It's actually a Yeti. I thought it was kind of like some goat or something. Llama. Now I'm going to pick my next two, which is going to be this peach and this orange. Two fruits. Orin is a silly orange. He responds to questions with more questions. And on Fridays, he tries to do everything backwards. Thankfully, his friends like his silliness and play along with his jokes. <laughs> so, Orin sounds like a little kind of comedy Squishmallow. Comedy! <laughs> Have you met Phyllis? She is captain of the swimming team and can't wait to get back in the pool. If she could, she would turn into a mermaid. <laughs> so I think Phyllis sounds like kind of like a dream kind of peach squishmallow. Now for the last one. 
Malcolm. Malcolm. Have you ever met a soccer playing mushroom? Malcolm is the one for you. He's the goalie on his team, and they've won the championship three years in a row. Hmm. So Malcolm sounds like a pretty sporty squishmallow. And I think his favorite sport is soccer. <laughs> but now let's open the second box. Ooh. And guys, there will be more unboxing of Squishmallow cards to come. Ooh. Okay, open. And we got our another packet. I don't think we're going to get any doubles. But yeah, we might or we might not. Let's see. Guys, so our first one is not a double. It is a kind of like kangaroo. Our first one. Our second one is a skunk. <gasps> My favorite. A unicorn is our third one. A peacock is our is our fourth one. A fox is our fifth one. And a uh, I think this is like an underwater sea turtle, which is our sixth one and oh guys we got a double in the same pack you guys we have a double but that's okay let's read this one since we have two of them <laughs> i'm gonna put one over there because we have double and we'll just read them twice have you met priscilla this perky peacock is always ready to lend a helping hand. There's not much she can't do. Priscilla loves to spend time with her friends and finds many new activities for them to try. Hmm. Priscilla sounds like a very energetic peacock. <laughs> Let's read the unicorn now. Ponder... <laughs> okay, guys. I think it's Pondersa. Have you ever meant a... Have you ever met a sea faring unicorn? Now you have. Ponderosa flies ahead of her ship to watch for land, bad weather, and scout for danger. On her downtime, she enjoys root beer floats and sharing stories, stories with the crew. Hmm. So, this Squishmallow really sounds like she likes pirates. Let's do hmm, the skunk, which is Skylar. Skylar is obsessed with gardening. He helps his grandmother and has developed quite the green thumb. He may give you a fright when you first meet him, but this skunk is a softie at heart. Hmm. So Skylar sounds like a a very nice skunk, not like the skunks skunks that will just like spray you. <laughs> now we have Henry. No known by all the mellows for his fantastic voice. Henry is a famous sports announcer. While he regularly provides commentary on basketball, football and baseball games, his favorite sport is volleyball. Hmm. So Henry sounds like he is just like, um, hold on, you guys. I'm trying to find the one where it was sporty. Oh, there we go. I think. No, that's not it. Guys, I'm trying to find the squish mode. That was like a sport one. Here we go, guys. Here's a sport one. I think Malcolm and Henry would make great friends. But his favorite is vo volleyball, and his favorite, I think, is soccer. <laughs> so, we did those. Now it's time. Let's do Keely, which is the kangaroo. Keely is a soon-to-be mommy ooh, blogger who wants to start her own painting business. She paints mur murals for her friend, friends, and family. And dreams of one day painting a mural, a mural of her favorite place to visit, the Opera House. Ooh. So Keila sounds like 
a nice and artistic, music-loving Squishmallow. Now it's on to our last two. We already read Priscilla, but I'm going to read it at the end, just in case if you guys forgot what kind of Squishmallow she is. So our, so our, so our second to be last one is Fifi, a little red fox. Fifi is your girl. If you like to go on adventures, she's traveled to the Arctic, to the mountains, and is all is ready to go on her next trip with you. Born October 6th, Fifi has a vibrant personality and is quite the little firecracker. She channels her energy through yoga flows and is working on getting her yoga yo yoga teacher certificate hmm. so fifi sounds like a nice energetic and kind of calming squishmallow because she loves yoga and that sometimes calms me down too <laughs> well it's time to read priscilla again she is the peacock as well <laughs> let's read her again have you met priscilla this perky peacock is always ready to lend a helping hand there's not much she can't do. Priscilla loves to spend time with her friends and finds many new activities for them to try. So just again, Priscilla sounds like a very nice and helpful peacock. Squishmallow. <laughs> so in total, we have unboxed 14 of these uh, Squishmallow cards. Let's just count to make sure. Two, four, six, eight... 10, 12, and 14. We actually have 14, you guys. We actually did 14, I'm pretty sure. But make sure to like and subscribe so we can get to 300 subscribers. And comment down below if you want me to do more Squishmallow card unboxings. Make sure to go check out my YouTube shorts that I'm going to be posting about these Squishmallow cards. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, and make sure to look down in the description to figure out what else you need to do. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, and guys, I may be starting another kind of collection with these cards. See ya.